Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we've had a, an important change in uh, people who use DisplayCal. The new update is uh, DisplayCal 372. And at least for users on macOS and use the Zero install, um, there's going to be some bigger changes. One of the things that they seem to fix on uh, macOS using the light theme and dark theme is uh, before it was unreadable, uh, when you're in dark mode and here you can see the lettering here in white mode just to show you and then we're going to switch to dark mode right here and it, as you can see all the lettering and everything on here is readable which I'm glad they fixed that because I constantly have to switch themes when using um, the older version so great to see they fixed that and another change is they're getting rid of the zero install method um, now zero install automatically updates your software to the newest version and I'll check <coughs> once a new one gets released <coughs> so they're, they're uh, go ahead they're going ahead and phase that out simply because only six percent actually use this method and it was kind of a strange way of doing it using the Linux system through auto install and so Supposedly said they said it would if you're using that method which I use it would automatically update to the next version and it simply didn't work the installer uh, didn't have all the files so I actually had to delete it and download the new version standalone which works perfectly fine unfortunately the reason why well, well the reason I use the auto install or zero install is because there's a way I can update it without having to download the new version and install it and all that and it automatically checks um, so I was hoping the standalone version would have it incorporated um, and a lot of times uh, a lot of software will, will say um, check for updates and then from there you could actually check for new version it would download and install it for you um, they don't seem to implement that in the standalone version I hope they will in the future because then you'd have to download it and run the installer separately and it, to me it's a big hassle so hopefully they're gonna um, use that uh, version sometime in the future so uh, I definitely want to tell you guys of some of the newer changes um, especially if you use a zero install if you use a standalone version it shouldn't affect you in any uh, big way uh, with exception if on the Mac version uh, dark, no, dark mode is now supported, but uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later.